dear students welcome to next lecture of econ 242 that is agricultural finance and cooperation so in last 12 lectures we have already covered the whole part of agricultural finance so from the today's lecture we are going to start the part of the cooperation okay cooperation meaning of cooperation so cooperation is voluntary association of person for achieving a common goal so generally it means working together for common goal means there is group of people they are working togetherly to achieve the common goal it is known as the cooperation so it indicates joint efforts and coordinated action of all the members of the association so for example the producers cooperate cooperatives consumers cooperatives marketing cooperatives credit cooperatives or multi purpose cooperatives these are the several examples of the cooperation so in simple language cooperation is nothing but it is the voluntary association or voluntary group for achieving the common goal of all the peoples so definition the definition of cooperation given by haber calvert so according to haber calvert cooperation is a form of organization where in persons voluntarily associated together on the basis of equality for the promotion of common economic interest of themselves so this is the definition given by the haber calvert now there is another definition given by sir horace plunkett sir horace plunkett so this definition is very short and simple and easy to remember that is cooperation is self help made effective by organization so according to plunkett cooperation is self help made effective by organization so you can remember this simple definition then another definition of cooperation given by lambert so according to lambert cooperative society is an enterprise formed and directed by an association of users applying within itself the rules of democracy and directly intended to serve both its own members and the community as a whole so this is definition given by lambert then as we know cooperation helps in uh, protecting the weak weak people provides the equal justice to all and promotes the welfare of the society okay so for any cooperation for any cooperative society they are tries to help the weak people they provides the equal justice means they try to maintain the equality they provides the equal justice for each member and they also promotes the welfare of the society they also promotes the welfare of society or welfare of each member of society now most important the motto of cooperation the motto of cooperation so each for all and all for each is the motto of cooperation and principle of cooperation is one man one vote okay principles of cooperation so question may be asked define cooperation explain in detail about the principles of cooperation question may be for 8 marks because this course is 2 plus 1 so there are high chances to ask the question on this part so what is mean by cooperation explain in detail the 
principles of cooperation so in that you have to firstly enlist these 10 principle now so cooperation is the movement of people for the people and by the people it is a common sentence for the cooperation so cooperation is the movement of the people for the people and by the people now the 10 principles so first principle of open and voluntary association then principle of democratic organization principle of service then principle of self help and mutual help then principle of distribution of profits and surpluses then sixth one principle of political and religious neutrality most important then principle of education principle of thrift principle of thrift that is propensity to save then principle of publicity and last one principle of honorary service principle of honorary service so these are the 10 principles of cooperation okay now we will explain one by one so first one principle of open and voluntary association principle of open and voluntary association as we know in 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 any cooperative society the admissions are open so admissions and membership into any cooperative society is open to everybody irrespective of their caste religion social and political affiliations means in any cooperative society all the cooperative societies are open to get admission or their membership is open for all they never think about the, your caste religion your social background or your political background so it is open for all membership into cooperative society is open and everybody can take the membership then it does not allow any discrimination means there is no discrimination means there is no caste discrimination or religious discrimination or social discrimination or political discrimination so the membership is open as well as voluntary means voluntary if you want to take a membership if your wish is to take the membership then you can take the membership so it is open as well as voluntary for the peoples so cooperation implies that there is no compulsion exercise on any individual to join the cooperative means in the cooperation there is no compulsion for any individual or there is no force on the any individual to join the cooperative society okay once an individual joins as a member there is no compulsion on him to continue as such means if you have joined any society so there is no compulsion for you to become a member for a long period so it is depend on the your wish how much time you have to stay in that society or how much time you have to become the member of that society okay so at any time there at any time he has uh, he can everybody freedom to withdraw from the society means at any time he can withdraw his membership from the society so that much freedom cooperative society is gives to his members so this is about the principle of open and voluntary association then second principle is about the principle of democratic organization next one is principle of democratic organization so as we know cooperatives are organized and managed based on the principle of democracy means all these cooperatives or cooperative societies they are managed and they are based on the principle of democracy okay so each member is a each member has a equal right to vote irrespective of his spare capital in the society means irrespective of his contribution in the society he has a equal right to vote 
इन द सोसाइटी और इन द कोऑपरेटिव सोसाइटी ओके सो इन अ प्रिंसिपल ऑफ कोऑपरेटिव प्रिंसिपल ऑफ डेमोक्रेटिक ऑर्गेनाइजेशन वन मैन वन वोट इज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट प्रिंसिपल ऑफ कोऑपरेशन कीप इन माइंड क्वेश्चन में भी आस डैश डैश इज द इंपॉर्टेंट प्रिंसिपल ऑफ कोऑपरेशन सो यूर आंसर मस्ट बी वन मैन वन वोट इज द इंपॉर्टेंट प्रिंसिपल ऑफ कोऑपरेशन डोंट गेट कंफ्यूज इन द प्रिंसिपल एंड मोटो ऑफ कोऑपरेशन सो मोटो ऑफ कोऑपरेशन इज ईच फॉर ऑल एंड ऑल फॉर ईच वेयर एज वन मैन वन वोट इज द important principle of cooperation okay so the elected board of management will work based on its on the act rules laws guiding the matters of cooperation means in every cooperative society there is elected board of management so they look after all the work of society all the rules regulations and guiding the matters of cooperation so this is about the second principle that is principle of democratic organization so first one about the principle of open and voluntary association second principle of democratic organization now third principle of service so in this principle the main aim is to act is to cater the needs of its members means every cooperative society tries to achieve or try to fulfill the needs of its member okay so this is the principle of service they provides the different services for their members unlike business organization as we know in the private sector or in the business organization they run on the profit basis all the business organization they run on the profit basis but cooperatives are more service oriented than the profit oriented means cooperative societies they think about the welfare of their members that's why in a cooperative society or cooperatives are more service oriented than the profit oriented means every businessman they want to earn the profits but cooperative they want the welfare so this spirit of service of the society or of the cooperation in hopes or builds the loyalty among the members of society so this is about the third principle principle of service then next principle of self help and mutual help fourth one is principle of self help and mutual help so in this principle the fund of society are contributed by the each member in the form of share capital means in every society the fund generated by the members it is contributed by each member in the form of share capital okay in a cooperative generally the members are financially weak in the cooperatives generally the members are financially weak the society can borrow required capital from the different financial sources at lower interest rate as we know in the cooperative you observe the cooperative society the members are financially weak that's why they are they have generated the society the purpose behind generating society is the economic growth economic development and welfare also so if their fund is limited that society borrow take a loan for required capital from the some financial institutions or financial sources at lower interest rate and offer the same to the members for productive purposes so here the cooperative society they act as the financial supporter to their members this may not be possible at individual level this may not be possible at each members level or each members individual level okay hence in a cooperatives the principle of self help and mutual help can work for the welfare of the members so 
दिस इज अबाउट द प्रिंसिपल ऑफ सेल्फ हेल्प एंड म्यूचुअल हेल्प नाउ फिफ्थ प्रिंसिपल दैट इज प्रिंसिपल ऑफ डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ प्रॉफिट एंड सरप्लसेस प्रिंसिपल ऑफ डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ प्रॉफिट एंड सरप्लसेस नाउ वॉट हैपन्स इन इन दिस प्रिंसिपल द कोऑपरेटिव आर नॉट इंटरेस्टेड इन मेकिंग प्रॉफिट लाइक बिजनेस ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एज अर्लियर आई टोल्ड यू द कोऑपरेटिव दे आर फोकस ऑन द वेलफेयर ऑफ द मेम्बर्स दे आर नॉट फोकस फोकस ऑन द मेकिंग द प्रॉफिट लाइक अ बिजनेस ऑर्गेनाइजेशन सो हियर कोऑपरेटिव आर नॉट इंटरेस्टेड इन मेकिंग प्रॉफिट लाइक बिजनेस organizations but they are also required to run on a same minimum profit through the efficient working but for the running of cooperative society they are also required to run on a same minimum profit through the efficient working now in cooperative certain amount of profit that is 25% will be kept as a reserve fund so they kept the 25% profit as a reserve fund and remaining 75% profit is to be distributed among the member based on their contribution to the share capital means if that cooperative society got the 100 rupees of the profit so they kept the 25 rupees as a reserve fund and remaining 75 rupees they distribute among the members based on their contribution in the share capital of society so this is about the fifth principle principle of distribution of profit and surpluses here keep in mind the 25 and 75 the next uh, principle of political and religious neutrality principle of political and religious neutrality so the important strength for the growth of cooperative is the unity so for any group it may be society or it may be other group so main important thing or main strength of any group is the unity so here is same the strength of for the group of for the growth of cooperative is the unity among the members and non interference of political parties non interference of political parties okay so the members of the cooperatives should continuously work for the growth of society with the harmony integration and unbiasedness towards any religion or political party so this is about the principle of political and religious neutrality means in any cooperative society or in any cooperation there is the unity among the members and there is not interference of political parties so their growth is possible now the members of cooperative should continuously work for the growth of society means they work for the growth of society with a harmony integration and the unbiasedness towards any religion or political party so this is about the sixth principle that is principle of political and religious neutrality it is observed in the cooperation then next so the political and religious differences of the member should be kept away from for the smooth running of the cooperative means political discrimination or religious discrimination is not good for the cooperation that's why they kept away or they stay away from the such issues now next that is seventh principle that is the principle of education so suppose if the members of cooperative society are illiterate what will happen if the members of cooperative societies are illiterate their participation is poor in running the cooperatives and they cannot understand what is going on in the society if the illiterate people they do the cooperation it will be not fruitful it will be not fruitful or they will not get that much benefits okay so hence the first such type of illiterate member should be made literate 
सो इफ सम मेंबर्स आर इलिटरेट द कोऑपरेटिव सोसाइटी ट्राइज टू मेक देम एजुकेट और मेक देम लिटरेट फॉर प्रमोटिंग अवेयरनेस एंड इफिशियंसी इन द ऑपरेशन ऑफ कोऑपरेटिव एजुकेशन एजुकेशन टू मेंबर्स एंड ट्रेनिंग टू ऑफिस बियर एंड एग्जीक्यूटिव इज नेसेसरी और इज मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर अंडरस्टैंडिंग फॉर म्यूचुअल अंडरस्टैंडिंग एजुकेशन इज मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर द ग्रोथ ऑफ कोऑपरेटिव सोसाइटी एजुकेशन इज ऑल्सो मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट सो दिस इज अबाउट द प्रिंसिपल ऑफ एजुकेशन देन मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर सेवरल टाइम्स देर इज वन क्वेश्चन ऑन द प्रिंसिपल ऑफ थ्रिप्ट प्रिंसिपल नंबर एट दैट इज प्रिंसिपल ऑफ थ्रिप्ट ऑफ कोऑपरेशन सो द कोऑपरेटिव मस्ट एम एट इन कैलकुलेटिंग द हैबिट ऑफ थ्रिप्ट मीन्स इन एवरी कोऑपरेटिव दे मस्ट एम एट अचीविंग द हैबिट ऑफ थ्रिप्ट दैट इज द प्रोपेन्सिटी टू सेव अमंग द मेम्बर्स मीन्स दे ट्राइज टू बिल्ड मेंटेलिटी ऑफ प्रोपेन्सिटी टू सेव अमंग द मेम्बर्स दैट इज द प्रिंसिपल ऑफ थ्रिप्ट थ्रिप्ट एंड सर्विसेस आर पार्ट एंड पार्सल ऑफ कोऑपरेशन थ्रिप्ट एंड सर्विसेस आर द पार्ट एंड पार्सल ऑफ द कोऑपरेशन सो द मेम्बर्स हू सेव देअर मनी विथ कोऑपरेटिव शूड गेट इन्सेंटिव दे गेट द इन्सेंटिव इफ द मेम्बर्स दे सेव देअर मनी विथ कोऑपरेटिव सो थ्रिप्ट इज वेरी मच बेसिस ऑफ सेल्फ हेल्प बट इट मस्ट प्रिसीड क्रेडिट इट मस्ट प्रिसीड क्रेडिट मीन्स यू मस्ट फुलफिल युअर रिक्वायरमेंट इट मस्ट रिपे युअर क्रेडिट ओके देन यू कैन सेव इट इम्प्लाइज दैट इन द सैंक्शनिंग ऑफ क्रेडिट अ प्रायोरिटी शुड बी गिवन टू द मेम्बर्स हू सेव मेम्बर्स हू सेव सो दिस इज अबाउट द प्रिंसिपल ऑफ थ्रिप्ट दैट इज प्रोपेन्सिटी टू सेव सो क्वेश्चन में बी आस डैश डैश इज रिलेटेड टू दी प्रिंसिपल ऑफ थ्रिप्ट ऑफ कोऑपरेशन सो ऑप्शन मस्ट ऑप्शन विल बी इन्वेस्टिंग सेविंग सो योर करेक्ट आंसर मस्ट बी सेविंग देन नेक्स्ट प्रिंसिपल नंबर नाइन्थ दैट इज प्रिंसिपल ऑफ पब्लिसिटी द कोऑपरेटिव शुड मेक सिंसियर एफर्ट्स टू टेल देयर मेम्बर्स अबाउट द सोसाइटी एंड ऑल द डीलिंग्स of the society should be made public so here the cooperative should take the efforts to tell their members about the society that is the publicity of society it is most important and all the dealings of society should be made public means all the transactions or all the activities of the society must be open for all or it must be public so this is about the principle of publicity and last that is principle number 10 that is principle of honorary services principle of honor honor honorary services then sorry uh, the prince the honor honorary personnel will simply supervise and direct operations of cooperatives but to have efficiency in the society train secretaries with salaries are needed then but if the societies are started with poor members it is better to have honorary office bearers because such societies cannot afford to pay salaries to such office bearer so this is about the principle of honorary services so this is about the all the ten honorary services means the services provided by the society to the members for that purpose they also need the management or train secretaries or train staff with salaries are needed so this is about the principles all the 10 principles of the cooperation and about the 
cooperation thank you so you can refer the book of subbaredi and raguram agriculture finance and management another book that is common book agriculture economics by subbaredi keep watching my video try to share this video with the student of base agriculture and don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel for the videos related to agricultural economics subjects or courses thank you